On the outskirts of Kabul, these widows have gathered to form their own community. Anissa Azimi came here 13 years ago with her five children. Eight of her brother's kids joined her after he died in a car accident. Azimi, like many of the women here, built her home herself. But without a male relative to protect her, she's vulnerable. Sometimes the police come and tear down the walls of our homes. Instead of helping us, they demand bribes, knowing we can't afford to pay them anything. There's electricity, but no running water. Life is hard for most here. Bibi Amina lost her husband and her sons to war. She has only her grandchildren to help her. Blind and disabled by shrapnel in her legs, she struggles to survive. Our families shed blood for this country. I want the government to help us, especially the widows who don't have any caretakers. Under Afghan law, women have no custody rights. Many avoid remarriage so they don't lose their children. Even though widows are entitled to government support, very few receive it. Some don't know how to collect it, and those who do say the government has made it too difficult to claim. Kabul's municipal government has just started putting women to work in the streets to help remove the stigma of women working outside the home. Ahmad says the $88 a month job pays for a room for her and her five children who fled fighting in northern Afghanistan last year. Recently, the head of the program says the women are a welcome addition. Sometimes men, they just only work a few hours and then just lay on the street and don't work, but these women are really dedicated. Uh, we just tell them that, you know, your work task is to clean the street from point A to point B, and then you're done for the rest of the day. They just do it with uh, a lot of passion. And um, uh, the good thing is that we got a very good response from the public, and um, uh, it has worked quite well. There are only about 150 women sweeping the streets now. The program is expected to grow, and with it, increase opportunities for widows and other women that Afghan society has ignored for so long. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kabul.